Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Marcillon. I'm on the, I'm on the road today, but I had some time and I was invited, called to make this video to continue to communicate, to speak about different aspect of the of the spiritual ascension but spirituality is uh, part of materiality is part of the, the spiritual ascension past it's where all it all starts there for us so so it's about the order of things in the, in the universe in the higher universe on paradise things are eternally settled there is no separation between mind and, and between spirit and matter mind does not really need to intervene except when it comes to the higher uh, higher level of the universe there is a dissension of ministry in relationship to the realms but but um, otherwise it's like the here it's like there is such a separation between the, the spirit and the matter then the mind needs to make a lot of efforts to reconcile the inner perfection of the spirit within to the, the the great chaos of the world out, outside not that there is only chaos for there is order otherwise the, the cells the atoms wouldn't be able to, to function and all that but 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 it's the everybody lives within an illusion and a lot of peop people relative illusions sorry to say that we, we all and until we re realize that we are one with all that is with God then we, we, we we're working towards that and a lot of people do not want to the, the truth. They want to be comforted within their illusions, if, if, or within their beliefs. So belief is something that keep, we keep repeating to ourselves. And every belief, every illusion is supported by the universe. If we want to believe anything, the universe, life will come to prove us that we are right to believe it. It will, it will be reinforced. So, so it is important to understand life does not is completely neutral. Whatever we think, it will, it will, it will support it. So, so it's like little by little, we have to accept higher truths to let go of certain of our comfort zone in order to, 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 to accept the, the higher truths that can be revealed to us. And, and, and we have to prepare ourselves. What is the order of things when it comes to the sequentiality of events? We, we, we're getting ready through the announce or the, the galactic, the first contact, the, the, the solar flash, through the, the three days of darkness, uh, the UBS and quantum financial system, and the revelation about the, all the dark. All of that is like we don't know the sequence of things. Even in my life, the spirit is showing me many things about my future, but I don't know the sequence of events. So I, I rather than speculating, I have to remind myself to stay in the present and to trust. But it is very important to make some space within your mind, your mental process, to be as void as possible, to be still and meditation and to breathe, to anchor, to center, to, to, to turn your thoughts towards the source. Um, because a lot of things that we, we have a lot of power over the 3D, whatever we do in the physical world is like we're affecting it. We have a lot of power within the astral, whatever we think, whatever we feel, whatever we dream, whatever we desire is affecting the evolution of our, of our astral self. But, but when it comes to higher manifestation, which is already... We, it, it, spirit is just waiting for us to be in line and then it is the higher mind that will make it happen so uh, and everything is as there is always a price to pay if we want to move into the five fifth dimension we need to to let go of all the things that are trapping us in the fourth in the third dimension or even in the fourth eventually uh, we, the more we the, the more we grow even the, the 90 uh, Arcturian council that was I was following was saying we're, we're trying to liberate certain of our illusions so that we can move into the tenth dimension for we all have some certain every dimension has its lesson and its barrier and its frontiers and so there is a uh, very only thing that is free in this physical world is heartbeat and the ability to breathe that is free everything else is like it's, it's all about balance and energy and uh, and, uh, and there is always a price to pay so whatever we give we harvest whatever whatever we give we will receive with what resist persists, there is those, those common sense uh, knowledge and so what is, we have to learn to return to center, to stillness of the presence huh? and to get ready for the next level. No matter where we are, we are always seeking something better in relationship to the, co the, the where our life is. Huh? And uh, so I wanted also to thank you very much for, for, for following, for, for liking, for sharing, for subscribing and, and for your donations. If you want a private session, you can send me an email. Uh, I wanted to say sometimes uh, when you listen to channel messages, they can be uh, uh, negative groups of spirit that are using the name of an archangel or God or whatever to, to make some very confusing messages or very limited or very fearful messages or something that's like, hey, I am God and you better be careful because you're going to suffer if you don't do what I'm saying this is not God <laughs> but 
they, they will only use the names of ISO. So you do have to learn to, learn to discern, discern what, what is truth um, and, and filter it through the heart. The heart will always reflect it. But sometimes I feel I'm getting a lot of information from my guidance, mostly at night when I'm still in silent, but throughout the day. And sometimes I realize I'm getting some information. They don't come from my own guides. They get from the guides of other people. I am closely related on the soul level. But I, so it's like, uh, it's like the, those guys will, will, will defend the interest of that soul, of that other person. But, but it's very important to, to be kind and to be sensitive and to, to learn to play the dance. And it's a dance of energy. So, so don't fight it, just follow the flow. Uh, it's also the, the earth also is doing a dance to integrate humanity and get rid of all kinds of negative patterns so it's, it's about living in each moment to be able to integrate what you hear and what you think so often I was hearing a guidance but it wasn't it wasn't coherent with my thoughts so I would I would think something or say something that could be opposite to what I'm receiving now I'm aligning my, my hands my communication with my ears so so it's like at least um, even if it's you have to change your mind about something every every 10 seconds because your, your guidance well not every 10 seconds but every every so often you have to take a, an opposite position it's Part of the dance, huh? so just uh, know there are permanent things and there are things that are temporary. Just what, what we, our connection to the source and our, uh, our beingness in, in, as life in the universe is a permanent thing. But everything else is changing. All the situation, the circumstance, the, the decor, the, the, even the form. We eventually we die and we take, we move back to the higher planes. We take another form and then we die and then we, or, or we transcend, we ascend and we take another form and so. <coughs> So, so it's very important to be to, to, to what you read and what you write be coherent to, to allow yourself to trust your inner guidance your intuition and uh, to, to synchronize that and to avoid the interference from the lower mind the ego as much as possible the fear the doubts the the the, the the hurt, to project traumas or whatever to, to talk about negative things really really trying to avoid all that and now and there are many councils you can turn to, uh, council on the earth, uh, higher council, we all have our own council, and all the councils of the universe, now there is also the galactic councils that are available, you just got to ask them, just ask them from your heart, and, and they will receive it, they will respond, they will come to, to, to explain us things, That's, they're, they're much higher on the evolutionary scales, all those galactics, and so they, they have a great power to assist us, and uh, they're here to assist the evolution of the planet. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I'm going to pull a card for the day. <coughs> we had the soulmates, <coughs> the, <coughs> the French video. And so now we have the yin. The yin is about allowing things to unfold naturally. It is the divine feminine. It is the, it is the, the, the receptive. Right? It's like care of the cow. Be gentle. Very, this, the message of the card is to be gentle. Uh, and the I Ching, the, the number two, the earth, is symbolic of a square, just as the heaven is symbolic of a circle. So the, the yin is about allowing things to unfold naturally and, 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 to, and to be receptive to, to whatever is coming. For the mother, the mother energy, the divine mother, the divine feminine is very powerful and, and, will, and it will definitely as, assert its, um, its position more and more. We're going to return to a, to a more... Um, not matriarchal because we're going to need to balance it out here but uh, but, but to, to reintegrate the divine feminine as the only complement to the divine feminine masculine huh? just my position so um, which sometimes it's okay not to be politically correct huh? it's, it's just to be true to yourself to your value and then if so God shows you something to say well I'll show you something that you're wrong just or your spirit your soul your, your guides whatever your intuition your dreams uh, then pay heed to that and take consideration of that well I'm finished with a song and then I'm going to work one few more cards uh, it's a song a spiritual song that talks about uh, letting go of the past and, and merging into a new life a new beginning it's called love rescue me it goes like this love rescue me come forth and speak to me Raise me up and don't let me fall No man is my enemy My own hands imprison me Love rescue me 
Many strangers I have met On the road to my regret Many lost to seek to find themselves in me They ask me to reveal The very thoughts they would conceal Love rescue me And the sun in the sky Makes a shadow of you and I Stretching out as the sun sinks in the sea I'm here without a name In the palace of my shame Said love rescue me In the cold mirror of a glass I see my reflection pass See the dark shades of what I used to be See the purple of her eyes The scarlet of my lies I said love rescue me Yeah, though I walk in the valley of the shadow Yeah, I will fear no evil I have cursed, I rode and stabbed They no longer comfort me I said love, rescue me Sha la la, la 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 Sha la la, sha la la, la 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 I said love, love, rescue me I said love, climb up the mountain Said love, I said love, oh my love Climb, I'm on the hill of the sun On the eve of the storm and my words you must believe in Oh I said love, rescue me Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah Yeah, I'm here without a name In the palace of my shame I said love, rescue me I have conquered my past The future is here at last I stand at the entrance to a new world I can see The ruins to the right of me Will soon have lost sight of me Love rescue me Great songs from uh, you 2 and Bob Dylan I can see Bob Dylan's style in the writings, but I think only you two sing it, Bono. This song, it was always one of my favorite songs that, that, that I ever, ever sang. Well, the observer of the day is hesitation. We don't want to hesitate too long, but we need to take the time to make our decision. We have eternity before us, yet in, ta in, in this world we do not have eternity. We, it has come to, to eventually. We, uh, no, you, you, we all have a time, time and timing. So just be aware, be in touch with your higher self. He will tell you what is your time, what is your timing, what is it you have to do, what is urgent, what is not urgent, what needs to be done first. Huh? The highest wisdom is justice. Justice is going to be restored. It's going to feel good for for millennia of time. There was no real justice in this world. It was it was very unjust in this world. But spirit has promised me that justice will be soon restored. It's going to come back. What is um, what is to be understood is knowledge, deep knowledge, how to 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 sign on self, be true to the I am that I am, to the I am that you are. That is the highest knowledge to recognize yourself as a light into uh, an eternal light into the into the temporal field. What we need to do is hope, continue to, to hope, hope, hope. We have no choice because we it, we have faith and we hope until the resolution. Then we maybe still need hope and faith for, for what is to come. But for every step, we need to keep hope active. Hope was something that 
I think it was uh, Prometheus who, who put it into the jar of Pandora. It's like when she was the first woman, Pandora, she was given everything. Uh, she was the first woman, and so when she descended, she was created. But it's a mythological story. Um, she, she, she said, Do not open the jar. It's not a box, it was a jar. And she was curious, and, and she opened the jar, and, and Zeus put all the. the 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 miseries the the plagues of the world into they all came out but Prometheus said well we're gonna we're gonna throw hope back in and so hope will always be there regardless of what is outside and and the outcome is going to be rejoicing we're going to be rejoicing at what is to come once we have completed the program that has been asked the the, the curriculum the class of that level that we are in then uh, th then we are being re rewarded with uh, with uh, with the attainment of a new level so so it is very important just be kind to yourself be kind to others continue to breathe and, and to, to pay attention to, to the prompting of your spirit and, uh, and, and ask to, to, for divine order to be restored, divine order. Well, thank you very much, my friends. I'll talk to you later. I wish you a wonderful day. Adonai.